so this is just going to be a primary update on the DeFi uh, portfolio, kind of walking you guys through, showing you how much money I made, particularly just in the DeFi niche and, and some slight investments that I made and adjustments I made in my portfolio in crypto. Um, and just keep you guys updated, you know, do an update at the beginning of the month. So next week, hopefully before I leave off to Texas, I can do another quick update so I can track my progress and I can, you know, physically catalog my wins, my losses. Remember, I'm on a road, a road to my goal is to turn $10,000 into 50k by the end of the year. So I'm just going to record these videos so you guys can see the progress or the losses, right? Because who knows, maybe two months from now, three months from now, I could take a fat hit. Like, who knows, I want to really document this to create the legacy. I'm projecting by the end of the year, 50k DeFi portfolio, just by some of the methods that I'm using. Um, so I just, you know, want to be transparent and, and document that for you guys. So this is part of that. This is the end of the month journal. I got to get better at like naming these and whatnot, because I just tried to find some things and it was hard for me to do. So um, this is going to be video number one, officially, of the um, road to 50K DeFi portfolio. But I'm going to share with you guys because I've been tracking this and there is information already in the channel um, where I was documenting this on Zoom calls and whatnot. So if we go all the way back to four weeks ago, okay, let's just do a quick portfolio update track real fast. Um, you can see that my portfolio balance here in this video, which was four weeks ago, so at the beginning of the month of May, um, was roughly valued at about 13000 I remember I initially started with $10,000 invested, and in that first week, I put, and this was back in April when I put $10,000 in originally, um, that first initial week, that Friday, I started the account. I withdrew $2,000 from the FX markets from my trades that week on GBPUSD. And so right off the bat, $10,000 invested, market Forex money, $2,000. So roughly in the first week, my portfolio was already worth 12 grand. Okay. This video at the beginning of May, you can see my portfolio was roughly about 13. Uh, this video about a week after my portfolio was about 15. You can see on my whiteboard right here. Okay. And then in this video, this was two weeks ago, I mentioned that my portfolio was about 16,000. Um, and I go over my portfolio in detail in this video. Again, this was from two weeks ago. And so now I'm just going to give you guys an update. My portfolio is now worth 17,885. There's actually a correction, a bug in my portfolio tracker, which again, I got to beta out and figure why it's why it's not tracking this. I'll show you guys that in just one second. But I want to um, go over how it's now worth $17,885 when I started it at 10 k because it's not all DeFi money that I'm putting back in. Remember, my goal is to build a DeFi portfolio that is worth 50 grand, regardless if I use DeFi, if I use trading money, if I earn other passive income, constantly growing this, okay? And I'm just showing you guys how, so that way when it's worth 50 grand, not everybody's not like, how the heck did he do it? I'm going to physically talk that th through. So again, you can see that it's possible. So um, just going over this past week, I had pulled another thousand dollars from my FX profits, or maybe it was 2000. I don't remember off the top of my head. I, I recorded this in one of the Zooms, I remember. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I also pulled a thousand dollars from my Brett trade, which I called out to you guys publicly in the Discord. Um, I mentioned on May 14th that I was putting capital into Brett. And you guys can go back and track that. I don't know where the screenshot is. Oh, here it is. Um, yeah, see, here's the message I sent to you guys in Discord. I said May 15th or May 14th, buy more Brett, high risk meme, eight to 12 month hold. Um, here you can see May 14th, rode that wave up, cleared a thousand dollars off that trade. Um, trade still floating in seven thousand dollars worth of profit you can see that right here um so i added that thousand dollars into the pool and then initially i'd say that during the month this month in DeFi, i made roughly about two thousand five hundred to maybe three thousand i just need to look at my notes i don't have that here but i i put that back into the um the account as well okay so all in all i'm just trying to explain how and why my portfolio a month ago was worth 13 grand to 10 grand. And now it's worth almost 20 grand. Okay. So you guys can see that firsthand and I'm going to continue to do that next month and the month after and the month after and the month after and snowball it constantly 
until it's worth 50K. My goal is to be making $1,000 every three to four days. I don't want to be in the DeFi space not making $1,000 every three to four days. Um, I, I don't care if my portfolio fluctuates with permanent loss or whatever. My goal wholeheartedly is just to make $1,000 four days max, like hitting that four day end of day period, I want $1,000 in my DeFi to pull out. Once I accomplish that, and I have a 50k portfolio that's making me $1,000 every four days, if the market is still low at that point or consolidating, or I still see market opportunities, I'm going to shift that money every single four days into long term plays, blue chip assets that I think are going to perform well during the next whatever cycle we're going to experience, depending on where we're at when that happens. Okay. And if not, um, then what I'm going to do with that capital is I'm going to funnel it into my FX profits and I'm just going to, you know, try to build my FX portfolio more than it is right now. Okay. So now I'll get to that point when we get there, depending on where the market is in crypto. Um, trying to think about what other updates. Okay. So I told you guys about the Brett trade, capitalized on a thousand bucks in that, pulled some Forex profits and then also refunneled my money back into these pools on aerodrome currently right now i made two adjustments over the past month i was originally on turbos and aerodrome and then i switched to a velodrome pool from turbos and was on velodrome and aerodrome and then i realized that the velodrome pool mid-may was throttling down hardcore like it went from 500 plus percent all the way down to like 100 plus percent and it did not throttle back up so i made that adjustment i entered into this pool i think it was usdc kalima um and i took all the money from velodrome and put it into the aerodrome decks and so now i'm fully 100 on aerodrome um i still have my test positions open on like the magnetic decks but it's it's like 100 or 200 bucks it's nothing so i'm not even adding it to my portfolio same thing on saucer swap i have like a 500 dollars position split with usdc and h bar and a concentrated liquidity range on saucer swap again just to test a, a test portfolio um i'm not planning on really entering into those dexes heavily until i've accomplished the goal of the fifty thousand higher risk portfolio okay um which is where I'm looking to only be in pools right now that are offering me 200% plus APR. Okay. So um, I just want to explain that to you guys thoroughly. So you understand my strategy right now. Uh, anyways, let me just go over my portfolio real quick. So you guys can see um, another interesting part. This is something else you want to track in your, in your career in DeFi is you can go back and you can see, okay, so in this video from four weeks ago, I was only making $137 per day. Okay, so just pay attention to that when I go over my portfolio, because remember my goal, um, regardless of the value of my positions, the value of my account is what's important, and the money that I'm making every four days is what's important to me. That's my strategy, okay? Um, now I'm making $165 a day, $5,000 a month. Instead of previous, I was only making $137. Shit. <clears throat> I was only making 100 and dang it. Mm. I'm tripping right now. I I thought somebody was on the Zoom call watching a video and my dumb ass played the video and <laughs> I need to go to get some sleep, man. I'm hilarious. <laughs> I cracked myself up. All right. Anyways, where I was left off, uh, $137 a day in this video. And now you guys are going to see my portfolio making $165 a day. I went from uh, $4,000 a month in total income at the beginning of the month. And now I'm making um, $5,000. So just seeing that increase from start of the month, $4,000, end of the month, $5,000 going into the next month. That's great to see that progress. Remember, we want to see um, a rising equity curve. We don't want to see a depreciation in your equity curve less than what you started. Even if you're taking throughout the month, you know, two steps forward, one step back or three steps forward, two step back, two steps back, that's okay. But at the end of the month, to confirm that you are a profitable trader to some degree, you want to have more money in your account than you did at the start of the month. And I'm just physically showing you guys that I'm one of those individuals, regardless of the amount, fuck the amount, the amount's not important. Okay. Everybody's so fixated on the amount that these traders and investors make, who cares? It's the, it's the skill set. 
And that's what I'm trying to show you guys. It's the skill set of being able to make internet money, regardless if I made it from Forex, which you guys all saw if you go back and watch the Zoom calls, the pre plan analysis, the breakdowns, the trade ideas, the call outs all week was able to make, you know, $2,500 for the month of May in Forex and then put that money into DeFi. It doesn't matter where it comes from. It's just what just matters is the um, rising equity curve. And that's what I'm trying to show you guys. Okay. Um, so anyways, uh, let me share my screen. I got to fix this bug. I don't know why it's bugged like this. Again, I got to reach out. I'm not even worried about it because the freaking portfolio tracker that Mr. Man is building for you guys. I don't know if he shared it with you all in the chat, if you got a, a chance to look at it in the DeFi section, but it looks crazy. Like it's, it looks, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. It makes this portfolio tracker that myself and this other gentleman built look like, look like freaking child's play. Like it's nuts. I can't wait till he fi finishes it, um, which I'm not going to rush him. Uh, but you can see here the total value of my portfolio right now says that it's worth $21,742. However, the total value of my portfolio right now is not. It is $17,885. So I'm not too entirely sure where it's getting where it's getting this value from. Um, I tried to add up these numbers and these numbers. That's not what it equates to. I try, you know, anyways, I'm not going to explain that to you guys, but just so you know, there is a bug. I will figure out to fix it. But like I said, I'm not worried about it because Mr. Man, when he gets back from his uh, trip in June, is going to you know release the new DeFi tracker portfolio for you guys. So anyways, um, but you can see, okay, $167 a month. I think that a reasonable goal by the end of um, June would be to try and strive for $200 of daily income and try and strive for $6,000 a month. So just that steady natural increase, I think my bottom line goal where I will really start to reconsider my strategy is if every single month I'm not making an additional $500 per month. If I can keep that threshold and constantly add another $500 of monthly income every single month, I will reach my goal of 50K. Um, and... I'm fucking super stoked at the fact that I'm going to record this for you guys. And it's, it's going to be a process. It's going to be a journey. And hopefully you guys take the steps with me on your own accord um, to do this. And then what's really going to be great about all of this is after I do reach these thresholds of 50K and I've tried different pools and I've taken L's and just like in Forex, we learn from losses and we become these phenomenal and immaculate traders that understand the markets, what's well, going to be the same with DeFi. This challenge and the reason why I, I have $300,000 of liquid capital that if I just wanted to go and put into DeFi right now, I could, and I could fucking retire $20,000 a month right now, but I don't want to risk that capital. I want to take this, this approach, risk the $10,000 initially that I did, grow it, scale it for you guys publicly, create a legacy to show you that it's possible. And then once I've tried different DEXs and I've taken losses and I've, these shit, the, two weeks ago, I didn't document this for you guys, but I completely effed up. I sent, I sent um, like $2,500 and I fucked up on one of the freaking letters in the um, key, in the key to send. And I didn't pay attention to the very last second when I was hitting send. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that. Money's gone to the blockchain. And so anyways, <laughs> like, I don't want to do that with $300,000 of capital. I want to do that now while I'm still figuring out how to bridge to different protocols and projects and how to use different DEXs and how to allocate capital um, to, you know, more DeFi solutions and, and, and options, right? Staking, liquid staking, yield farming. There's so many things that can make you money in this space. And so right now, this $10,000 road to 50K portfolio is my trial and tribulation to solidify bringing the big money on, right? And I'm going to show you all how this is a mature approach. An immature approach would be somebody that's gung-ho, that's money hungry, that's greedy, has a million dollars, and goes in risking that million dollars without testing the waters first and fucks up bad, fumbles the ball and loses that million dollars, turns around and regrets it because he missed the biggest opportunity of his life. I'm not that person. I have the capital, but just like these financial institutions and these smart, mature investors and traders, they test the waters first. They run proof of concepts, okay? This portfolio is my proof of concept to then next year in 2025, 
bring in the hundred thousand dollars, bring in the two hundred thousand dollars. Maybe we even do see a massive bull market cycle, and my two hundred and ten thousand crypto portfolio right now uh, does a ten x and turns into two million, and then I have the five hundred thousand dollars of extra added capital from crypto outside of forex, and I have a million dollars to allocate the DeFi. You get what I'm saying, and and I'm comfortable doing it. I'm not stressed about it because I already tested it all with smaller amounts. Decent size amounts because these are still thousand dollar positions. Don't get me wrong, but testing my emotions, figuring out what works, being mature about it. Okay, um, so, anyways, I don't know how many more gems to drop to people. I'm literally going to document myself becoming a multi multi millionaire. It's crazy, <laughs> you know. Um, and I hope that you guys eventually tap in. And maybe you're already financially fit. Maybe you're not. But I, I'm going to look back on this in the next five to ten years. And uh, there's going to be a certain onset of people that are at the top eating with me. And I'm super excited for that. So anyways, I think that that's all that I had to say. Let me just double check my notes real quick. Um, so portfolio update. This is May 31st, uh, 2024, sitting at roughly around $17,885. Next month, the end of the month goal will be to have that, you know, $20,000 threshold met and be trying to make anywhere between, you know, 180 to 200 bucks a month, adding an extra thousand dollars of day of monthly income to my portfolio. All right. Blessings to you guys. I'm going to stop the recording and then leave the floor open for open discussion and any questions before we hop off. <clears throat>